so this is not a male eastern painted turtle, sub-adult male, so he's younger, you can tell he's in really good shape and he's probably just a hair under what he'll reach as his adult size. Um, you can tell it's a painted turtle by the um, yellow plaster, and the plaster is the bottom of the shell, and all the red on his skin and on the bridges right here and on the underside of the marginal scutes. Okay? Um, the western painted turtle is bigger and it has a red belly with um, intricate markings like this one has on the side. We'll actually have that in the belly. So that's how you could tell this is an eastern. There's no marks on the plaster at all. And also the um, scutes on the, on the carapace on the back of the shell all line up vert vertically um, across, um, not vertically, horizontally across the shell. So that's how you can tell this is an eastern and not a midland painted turtle. Okay? You can tell it's a male because he's got these long claws in the front. Oh, you see the long claws? So, in the pond turtle world, the males are the one with the pretty long nails. Okay? And he also has a bigger <laughs> tail as well, which um, is larger in males for obvious reasons. Okay? Tell me so, why. Here, I won't tell you why. Here in Connecticut, this is one of the two most common turtles uh, in the state. Along with the common snapping turtle. So, look at To check out more educational resources about turtles and tortoises, please visit the turtleroom.com/education.